Amen. The blood, the blood, yeah, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood still works. Yes, it does. Hey, Amen. I just sit there and think about some things. That's right. That don't work no more. Oh, come on. If you house. if you sitting out there with a page. Mm. I'm pretty sure yeah, your don't page work no don't more. work no more. Mm -hmm. Come on, now. You sitting there with a cassette player or a cassette case. I'm pretty sure it don't work no more. That's right. That you gotta right. have some cassettes to make it work. That's you got right. you sitting there with an eight track. Uh uh, that don't work. That don't work no more. Mm -hmm. Hey man, it don't work. It don't work. It don't work. But if the blood the blood still works. Yeah. It still works. It doesn't get old. Amen. It doesn't rust. Yeah. You know, you, you know, you get some things not the while it, it just it just wears out. You know, like if you wear glasses, you gotta get some new glasses. Mm -hmm. But the blood, it yeah. still covers. That's right. Amen. It, it's, it still works. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. you get you get some things. Sometimes you get a pair of shoes. You wear your shoes out, amen. Mm -hmm. You just because you love them so much uh -huh. that but the, you can't wear the blood out. Because right. the blood still works. Yeah, amen. Still I'm, just, works. I'm just trying to tell you, amen. Sometimes you might wear your bank account out. Where yeah. it ain't nothing in the bank account, yeah. amen. But the blood yeah. still works. You can't wear it out. Mm -hmm. You can't use it up, amen, because it's, it's, there's always enough to go around, amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To God be the glory, amen. Yeah. We give him the praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. amen. To, to yeah. everyone that's listening and yeah. even here, happy 4th of July. Amen. Uh, God is still good. God's still in the blessing business even yes, on the 4th of July. That's right. God didn't take the day off. That's right. He didn't call in sick. That's right. He's not on vacation. Yeah. You know, yeah. but wherever you at, he's there. That's right. If you're on your cruise, he's there. Yeah. If you're sitting on the beach this morning, he's there. Yeah. If you're sitting on the mountain, amen, he's there. If you're sitting in the valley, he's there. Amen. Yeah. God is still in the fixing business. Amen. Yes, it is. To God be the glory this morning. Yes, amen. Second Peter chapter amen. three. And I begin reading at verse uh, 17. I will read verse 17 and 18. Amen. And uh, I just truly want to give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To all who honors do, I just thank God for another day, another privilege. Amen. I just I thank him for Jesus still sitting on the throne. Amen. I, I thank him for answering prayers, amen. I thank him for being there. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you know you say, well, I got friends, but when you need somebody, it's kind of hard to get somebody. But when you need Jesus, yes. he's always there, That's amen. Right. That's amen. Right. You know, That's there's right. a song that says, uh, I might not be there when you call, but eventually I'm going to be there. But when you call Jesus, yes. he's there, amen. 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 I don't care what, what day it is, what time it is. Up or down, he's That's gonna take right. care of you, yeah. amen. amen. But you just gotta trust him. Trust him. Amen. Second Peter chapter 3, and begin reading in verse 17, and it reads, Ye therefore, beloved, seeing you know these things before, beware, mm -hmm. lest ye also being led away with the error of the wicked, mm -hmm. fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Let us bow. Our Father and our God, Lord, thank you for this day. All your many blessings, Lord God. Thank you how you kept us in my stuff, Lord God. Thank you for preaching time, dear Lord God. Father God, I just ask you to uh, remember the absent part of the day, Lord God. Yes. Be with them, be with us here, mm -hmm. Lord God, and, and just thank you. Lord God, thank you for what you've done, doing, and going to do. Thank you, Lord God, for waking us up this morning. Mm -hmm. Lord God, thank you for keeping your promise, dear Lord, that you would never leave us or forsake us, Lord God. Father God, I just ask you to be with the ones in the hospitals, the nursing homes, and prisons. Mm -hmm. Remember the ones that still with bereavement, dear Lord God. And Father God, just have your way in his service, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, just for a few minutes, I'd like to talk about how can I become a better Christian. Right. How can I become better? Not better. I want to be better. Amen. You know, because we, 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 we can turn so quick, we'll be better. Mm -hmm. What somebody said, how they looked at us, you know, uh, how they treat us, we'll become better. Mm -hmm. 
But today I just want to talk about becoming a better Christian. We must want to become better Christians and be willing to work for that goal. That needs to be our goal. I want to be a better Christian. I want to be, I want to be the best. I want to be what God called me to be. Right. But sometimes we get we get we be twisted sometimes. Mm-hmm. Our growth is uh, is directed and it should be uh, that something that we should invest in mm-hmm. is that time. You know, I want to be better. How can I be better? What do I need to do to, to, to be better? Uh, or, or, or what can I do to be better? But in 2 Corinthians 9 and 6 says, But this I say, he that would sow it sparingly shall reap also sparingly. And he would sow it bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So what do you mean, preacher? Well, if you put some time in, you are something ought to come out. That's right, come on. Now, this morning I seen some cucumbers and zucchini. I guess oh. that's what they did. And it took some time before it came through the door. That's but right. I'm here to tell you, it took some time before it, it come to pass. Amen. Mm-hmm. So I want to be a better Christian starts today, come but on, you might not see the turnaround. It might be a while before you see the turnaround. Yeah, yeah. But I just encourage you this morning, don't to be encouraged and don't stop. Because mm-hmm. when you're saying, well, well, I just ain't getting it, I just ain't getting it, but you got to hang on in there. That's right. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. You need to become a better Bible student. Mm-hmm. How do I do that? Or sometimes you got to pick it up and read it. Amen. That's right. That's to be better. Right. Amen. Amen. Everyone needs the Bible knowledge and wisdom. We, we, we talk about we want discernment and this, but we don't ever pick the Bible up. We don't Amen. ever ask God what discernment. Mm-hmm. What, what do you mean by discernment? Discernment means, I'm just going to make it plain to you. Hey, when somebody's trying to get over you or somebody that, that they say they like you and don't like you, God will, will let you know. Uh-huh. Yeah, he will show it to you. You know, you ain't even got to say that. And you ain't got to say, well, I know you don't like me. You ain't, you, you ain't got to play that hand. You just, you just know that they're not for you. That's right. Amen. You know, you can tell by their action. You can tell how they act. When you show he's acting funny today, what's wrong with you? Amen. Because hey, but you already know what they all about. Amen. But we need to read the scriptures, amen. If we don't That's need right. the Bible, then we need to read the scriptures, yeah, amen. amen. And Deuteronomy 17 and 19 says, and it and it shall be with him, and it shall, uh, shall read therein all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord, his God, to keep all his uh, and his law and his statutes to them. So we got to stay in the book. We got to stay in the word. Stay in the word. Stay in the word. If you want to grow, stay in the word. If you if you uh call yourself on the diet, then you you got to practice being on the diet. You know, well I'm on the diet. Well, every time I see you got a big piece of chicken and baked potatoes and all of this stuff, but see you're not on the diet. You got you got to practice this. Every day, you got to practice this all the time. And even especially when somebody says we're gonna have a cookout. And then, and then you got two plates loaded down. I'm like, well, I'm on a diet. Right. Well, how many would you have if you wasn't on a diet? Amen. Right. Come on, man. But I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to help. Because see, you you have to work this. Even if you want to go to the gym, you got a gym membership. Well, I got a gym membership, but I never go. Well, you are you 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 paying your dues, but you're not getting nothing out of it. You have to spend time in it. Well, I got a job, but I don't want to go to work. Well, guess what? You're not going to get paid. That's right. See, That's right. see you, got to, you got to put yourself in that place. That's right. And I know it's a well, preacher. This sounds so funny, but it's so true. If you if, if you find your Bible, wipe the dust off of it, and then commence to reading your Bible. Mm-hmm. Amen. Not just on Sunday or yeah, when we do yeah. true truths, but every day you got to spend some time with it. You got to hang right there with it. You, you right. got to spend some time with it. Amen. You spend time with Steve Harvey and, and everybody else. I mean, we spend some time with the Lord. Amen. 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 We need to read it completely. Matthew 4 and 4 says, But he answered and said, It is written, Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Stay in the word. I'm, I'm telling you, stay in the word. You want to you be a better Christian? Stay in the word. Amen. You want to, number two, build a stronger prayer life with God. Well, you need to get in the Word, and you need to get a, a, a stronger prayer, prayer life. You got to spend time with it, man. Spend time. You got to, you want to grow. You want to grow. You see people, well, 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 well preaching, I'm in a pandemic, but it ain't going to stop you from praying, is it? That's right. Yeah. That's a really good point. You, you still go to the grocery store. You still go to Walmart. Mm-hmm. Amen. So, uh, it shouldn't stop you from praying. 
You know, because now, now, now it's the time it seems like, uh, well, well, this is when we need, need, need to be drawn closer to God. Yeah. But we as far as way we ever been yeah. to God. But amen. But Ephesians 6 and 18 says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all. Amen. And 1 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, pray without ceasing. That's right. You got to always have that attitude about it. Amen. Always have that attitude. And 1 Corinthians 5 and 18 says, give and give thanks for everything. Always be thankful. Mm -hmm. You know, give thanks. Be, just be thankful. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody gives something, be, thank you. Mm -hmm. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't ask you for that. Mm -hmm. That's a poor that's a attitude. Be glad. Yeah. Be glad. You know, just be glad. Then you find, then you might pass it on to somebody else. Amen. Mm -hmm. Count it all joy. Mm -hmm. When God tries us. Mm -hmm. But what do you mean, preacher? Well, he tries us. We ought, be, we ought to be joyful. Joyful. James chapter 1, verse 2 and 3 says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall in divers temptations, knowing that that is trying of your faith worketh patience. God's trying to build you. And you feel like, what did I do wrong? You ain't got to do nothing wrong for him to, to, to try you. You his, right? Amen, amen. He got a right to try. He gonna, he gonna try you sometime. You, mm -hmm. well, well, you said you've overcome this area right here. I'm gonna see if you really overcome it. Mm -hmm. You said you quit cussing. We gonna see if you really done stop. Mm -hmm. We don't know. You don't overcome it today. Mm -hmm. You know. So, so you, you get tried. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, well, uh, well, 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 I'm over that. I, I don't, I don't have to deal with that no more. And guess what? Here it comes. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought you was over that. I will until it comes in, in my face. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm just trying to help us today. Amen. So you got you, you got to know it. Okay. When, when you say, well, I want to be better at this and I want to be better at that. Well, something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You just ain't going to go to sleep and wake up and it's, hey, I'm better. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a test. It's going to be a trial. It's going to be some work. You got to go through something. To, to, to say you want to be a better That's Christian. Right. Something's right. got to happen, amen. Yes. You got to put something in action, amen. Yes. Somebody's yes. going to step right. on your big toe Hallelujah. and make you mad. But yeah, you still going to be the Christian, amen. amen. But when we fall in the tests and trials, there's always a way to escape. Mm -hmm. Do we want to escape? Or do we just want to give them a piece of our mind, amen? And 1 Corinthians 10 and 13 says, Pray to find that there is no temptation taken to you, but such come to man. But God is faithful. Mm -hmm. God is faithful. Yes, sir. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are, but with temptation always make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. He's going he to fix it where you can get out of it. But sometimes we don't want to get out of it. I'm, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay right here until I'm tired of being right here. Well, it's, it's time to move on. Amen. Let me give you one more. Pour out your soul in prayer. You got something on it that's on your head? Mm -hmm. You need to get it off. Mm -hmm. You need to get it off. And sometimes talking to people, it do you some good, but they might not be where you at. You understand what I'm saying? You know, both of y'all on the diet. And you cheat. <laughs> and you like, well, I understand. But your belly full and that belly is empty. They don't understand. They, they're not with you. Okay, 1 Samuel 1 and 15 says, And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drank neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. See, when you got a burden, when you got a problem, when you got an issue, when you got something that's really heavy on yes, you, on, you take, take it to God. Take it to me. God, God, I can't handle this no more. Yes. You, you, you got to cast it to Him. Who you gonna, don't nobody else want your problems because everybody else got problems. So you, know, you got to unload that thing to God. Unload it and take it to God. Yes. Well, well I, I, I feel a certain kind of way. Well, you know, you tell God about it, amen. Mm -hmm. And I got one right here. I know we all gonna love. Love and pray for your enemies. Amen. 
Matthew 5 and 44. I got some amen. So y'all, 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 I'm on your street. Hey, man, I know your zip code. I know your area code. Hey, man, I know your cell phone number. Hey, Amen. Uh -huh. But 5 and 44, Matthew 5, 44 says, But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, and do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despisingly use you and persecute you. You still supposed to love them. That's right. You still supposed to hug them. Hey, man, you, you. A uh, 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 preacher. This is part of the growth. This is part, this this is where you grow, right here. Like I said, when you know they're messing with you, mm -hmm. but you still pray for them. That's right. You still pray for them. You still shake their hand. You still call them brothers. You still call them sisters. This is how you grow. That's right. And uh, this this is. Brother Eric's word, application. This is application right here. <laughs> when you apply this to your life, mm -hmm. you're you, you going to see the growth. That's right. Apply yourself. Your enemies. Your enemies. You know they're trying to stab you That's in the right. back. They, you know they're trying to get over on you. you know but what's the scripture say? But I say unto you, love your enemies. Bless them that curse you and do good to them that hate you and pray for them which despisingly use you and persecute you. Ouch! That hurts. You want to be blessed? I ask you. But you want to be blessed? This is what you do. Now don't, you know, don't mess around, man. You know. But love them. You, you, you can love people from a distance. You, you can talk to people without fussing at them. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to tell you, when you do this, God can bless you. Yeah. God can use you. Because we all say, God, take me to the next level. I want to elevate. I want to go higher. I want to do this. But this, this, this is the step mm -hmm. right here. When you, when, when you can love your enemies. Yeah. When you can pray for them, amen. Right. When you, when right. you can give your enemy a glass of water, amen. Right. When you when, when you can say, I, I, I'm, I'm here to help you, what do you need? When you, when you, when you get to that point, God yeah. can move you up. Yeah. But when you say, oh, I'm tired of it, I ain't taking it no more. Mm -hmm. Guess, guess what? Don't, don't, don't look for no blessing. Mm -hmm. Seek God's kingdom first. Mm -hmm. Seek the kingdom. We'll seek everything but the kingdom. And call it we're looking for. Mm -hmm. But let me let me tell you some things. Before this pandemic, and people miss service, they didn't come to church. Uh, you know. Well, I'm gonna give you the first one. When you when you when you see this happen, that now, now, now we're gonna be sick sometime we ain't coming. Something's gonna happen when, you know. But I'm just saying, people who miss service, this is before the pandemic. They were weak in faith. Mm -hmm. Oh, I ain't got to go down there. See, the world will beat you up all every day, all day. Mm -hmm. And then you need to come and, and, and get fulfilled, get some fulfilling back in. Mm -hmm. You got the weak faith. Number two, the lack of respect for God. And here's a favorite, a sinful attitude. Because when you don't come to church, Read your Bible, pray, seek the things of God. You're going to have an a attitude about you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to have little love for your brothers and sisters mm -hmm. and a little concern for scripture. See, when you don't come, you don't care about growing. Mm -hmm. I don't care about that. I say, what, what good is it going to do me? We've we, we heard that before. What good does it do me? Little concern for spiritual growth. Lack of respect for elders and their authority. Ain't nobody tell me nothing. They put their pants on just like I do. And they do this. And we, we've heard it before. Yes. They, but see, this is all before pandemic. So, so now everything done kind of switched. Pandemic. And then we're kind of coming out of pandemic. And some churches done started back. And you don't want to go to church. Amen. But you don't want to go to church. But they see you at your favorite restaurant eating. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, spend some get, get, get God then blessed you these 14, yeah, 15, right, 16 right. months, and you still can't go to the house and say, God, I'm thankful. I'm still here, God. But I got to get over here and get me this fat work. Hey, man. I don't know if they're having a shot or not, but I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah, 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 I
if they had the virus or not, but I got to get me this sandwich. Amen. Oh, wow. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Yeah, I know. Some, yeah, I got to go. <laughs> Time's winding up. But we need to hear sound preach. Mm. It's important. You got to hear this thing. That's right. And you know, and you say we're preaching. I can say it home. I can I, I, I can do it at bedside Baptist. Mm -hmm. I, I can still get it. Mm -hmm. But it's going to come a time when you sitting out there can come here. You can come here now if you want to. Mm -hmm. But ain't nobody stopping you but you. Mm -hmm. It's up to you if you want to come. You are welcome. Amen. Everybody in here has been vaccinated. If you ain't, we'll give you a mask. We'll be do, if you still do temperature checks, amen. You are welcome. We ain't going to turn nobody away. Amen. You are well. But in Romans 10 and 14 says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have believed? Mm -hmm. And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? Yeah. And how shall they hear without a preach? Amen. Yeah. Well, I want to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. You want to hear it. But you pick and choose when you hear it. Amen. Mm -hmm. I ain't coming this week. I'm coming next week. When you, when you, the time is winding down. That's right. Oh, up. How you, how your clock is running. Mm -hmm. So you need to get it right now. Mm -hmm. Well, preacher man, that's all you talk about. People even they do. That's right. They do. I can show you uh, Perry Spencer and Johnson right. and Johnson. You, right. you fill up that obituary mm -hmm. thing and it's got a list of folks. Mm -hmm. Young, old, otherwise. Right. Tall, That's short. Right. That's right. You know. right. You so, so I'm encouraging yeah. you. Uh, you need to know Jesus That's when right. you leave here. That's yeah, if you don't want to join True Web Plus, if you want to join somebody else, that's fine. But the key is that you know Jesus. That's right. And then when you close your eyes, when you're sitting there like this for the last time, people looking at you, they don't have to wonder, well, is they saved? That's right. That's Did they know the Lord? That's Amen. Right. That's uh, uh, right. Was they in a relationship with God? What, what, what church did they go to? Who's their pastor? But see, you have to worry about this That's stuff right. because when you get it right with God, when when your blood is running warm in your body, you get all every Sunday, every Sunday, you need to accept Christ while the blood is running warm in your body, amen. While you in your right mind, amen. What do we have to worry about? Well, are they saved tonight? You know that you are saved, amen. To God be the glory, amen. Now let's talk about something we all do. Let's talk about a little worry, amen. Put more faith in God and less in work. Right. And we're gonna get out of here in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. But if we always, we always, we ain't supposed to work. We don't. But it's natural. That's right. You know, how we gonna do this? No. Bill do, how we gonna do this? Yeah. Kids acting up, how we right. gonna do this? Spouse acting up, how we, how we work, we just work. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, we worry about one another. Mm -hmm. But there's no power in work. Write this down, somebody. Put this in your notes. Feed on this this week. There's no power in work. In work. Right. When you sitting up there worrying think about that stuff, right. oh God, mm -hmm. what are we going to do? That child get on my nerves. She get on my nerves. That wife get on my nerves. That husband get on my nerves. This job getting on my nerves. That's getting on my nerves. This, this old regular car getting on my nerves. I, I need a better job. Uh -huh. You know, oh, you just worry. Mm -hmm. Worry ain't good for you. Look at 4 and 6 says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. Mm -hmm. It didn't say to your brother or to your sister. That's right. Let your request. Well, what is your request? Mm -hmm. The DJ's on the radio. He says the request line is now open. Mm -hmm. What God is saying now, the request line is open. Make your prayers be known to him. Yes. Anything that's a burden to you, let it be known to God. Amen. Your request. What are you requesting? Well, Lord God, I'm on a closer walk with you. Lord God, uh, take some of this worry off of me, and he'll do it. Amen. But you got to tell God, amen, your brother and sister, tell them they'll pray for you, but I don't think they can fix it. But you need to go to God. Amen. Right. Tell, let your request be known. Yes. What is your What are you requesting of God this morning? Amen. Hallelujah. What is on your What is your burden? 
Amen. What is what what is on you? What's on you heavy today? Amen. When you came through the doors, amen. What is the burden that's on you? Amen. What is on you this one? Oh God, God, just take this off of me. I can't the weight, the weight is on me so hard. God, take the weight off my back, amen. I can't do it no more, Lord. God, take the weight off me. To God be the glory. Let me know your request. Hallelujah. Let's tell you. You ain't got to speak like uh, Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Just talk to him. Amen. God, this is what's going on. I got a, I got a pain in my pinky toe. Mm -hmm. And I need you to touch this pain, Lord God. See, that's a request. Mm -hmm. Lord God, I, I want to be a brother quick, a Christian. That's a request. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you got to take it to God. Amen. But you can't take it to him and take it back. Amen. When you give it to him, let him have it. Amen. Yeah. Jesus does not want us to work. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get nothing out of working. Amen. That's right. But I'm going to give you this and we're going to get out of here. Amen. Amen. Let me give you this. Worry can make you sick. Amen. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm sick and tired and I'm tired and sick and I'm sick yeah. and tired and I'm tired and sick. <laughs> you get on my last nerves. See? You worried about it so much? I'm just sick. I'm just, and let, me, let me school you real quick. Let me school you. Take your class. I'm going to throw this in for free. <laughs> when you up here talking about it make you sick, and it make you this, and it make you that, it make your head hurt, it make you, guess what? It's going to happen. That's right, man. Watch, what Watch what you say. Right. Don't never tell nobody you make me sick. Right. And you sitting there in good health and fried, there's something be wrong with you. That's right. Oh, there's anything something be wrong with you. What, what, what happened to Pastor? No. I, I don't know what happened to him. But he said, Brother Eric made him sick. And guess what? He got sick. Amen. Be careful what come out of your mouth. Amen. Blessings and cursings come out of your mouth. Amen. The reason you don't have it is probably your fault because it's coming out of your mouth. I don't have it. I ain't got it. You fix it. I don't have it yet. I'm on a new job, but I don't have it. But I, it's, I don't have it yet. It's on the way. Amen. I'm working on my bills, but they ain't, I ain't got them all paid yet. Y'all got quiet on me. All right. Amen. Let me, let me go on. When you worry, it cripples your spiritual walk. Mm -hmm. Walking for the Lord. And you talking about this worry stuff. See, you got to live a certain way so it'll be effective on you. Mm -hmm. Because if you're not loving your enemy, if you're not praying, if, you, if, you, if you're not loving God like you ought to, then you, the blessing just ain't coming like it ought to. And you saying, well, God, I pay my tithes. I come to church. And I do this. I speak to Sister Vanessa. And, and I just love everybody. But see, there's something keeping you from where you need to be. It's that work. Lower child went to the doctor. Blood pressure, 150 over 110 or something. You know, crazy, crazy. Right? It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, and be like, well, it's all right. That can take you out of here mm -hmm. if you're not careful. Mm -hmm. It affects your physical walk. It affects your growth. Mm -hmm. We all want to grow. Mm -hmm. We all here. We all about halfway through the year, yes. and we yes. should be growing. All right. mm -hmm. But we kind of stale at it. Because one event or a series of events is keeping us from being to where we are. Mm -hmm. Amen. But that's another sermon for another time. <laughs> it separates your soul from God. This word. Mm -hmm. This word. And it, oh, well, preach it, 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 it ain't no big thing. It's just little things. The little things keep you from getting into heaven. Mm -hmm. If you're not careful. But let me tell you what worry is and we're going to get out of here. Worry is faithlessness, self-centeredness, and it's a distracted. Mm -hmm. Worry shows lack of faith in God. Mm -hmm. Because if you say, and I got strong faith, I got faith, I got strong faith, I'm trusting God, but why are you worried? Mm -hmm. If you say, I love the Lord, and, 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 and God did it for me last time, and you're looking for him to do it here for him this time, what, what you worried about it for? Mm -hmm. If he did it for you one time, yeah. he can do it again, yeah. can't he? 
Won't he do it? Yes. Look, I'm done. I love y'all. Happy 4th of July. Amen. But how can I become a better Christian? Amen. I didn't say nothing about paying no tithes. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say nothing about coming to church every Sunday. I didn't say about coming to Bible. I didn't say nothing about that stuff. But it's all part of it, amen. I want to be better. How, how, how do you, do you want to be better? Or do you want to be better? Amen. I don't care. I don't care what they do. I don't care what they say. I don't care about this and I don't care about that. You got to care about something. You got to care about when I leave here. I ain't talking about this building. I'm going to leave in this world. Mm -hmm. And I close my eyes for the last time I take my last breath. Mm -hmm. Where will I wind up? Mm -hmm. will, I, will I wind up in heaven or will I wind up in hell? Where will I be? Where will I be? I want to, you know, that choice, that's, that's your choice. Mm -hmm. God's give you that choice. Well, 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 you can go or not. But he said he has a place for you. He said I have a, a, a place with many uh, mansions, a room with many mansions. Amen. They got a place for prepare for you. When you get here, when you when you leave here, I'm thinking, well, I ain't never had a mansion. And I don't even think I ever stepped in one. But when I leave this earth, I got somewhere else to go that's better. All right. All right. Amen. You don't have to worry about uh, no due power bill, right. no light, right. because Jesus is the light of the world. Amen. Right. He is the light. Amen. I'm, I'm trying to tell you, amen. You don't have to worry about no 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 heat, amen, no cold, because every day it's, it's going to be like saying. But do you want to be a part of that? A preacher? Oh, you, you talk about that. You talk about it all the time. I'm trying, I'm trying to help you. Hey, man, I, I just I, I want you to have what I have. It's called salvation. Yeah. Amen. I, and I want you to trust God. Learn to trust Him. Yeah. You know, some days, some days, you'd be like, boy, I can't believe it because I trust Him. I can't believe it. God, 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 you heard my prayer. God, you answered my prayer. God, you opened that door. God, you shut that door. Mm -hmm. Amen. God, God thanks of Scotty Dalton that much. That he does it for me and he'll do the same thing for you. Amen. But I'm through. I just want to thank the Facebook family for tuning in. True Web Fellowship for tuning in. Amen. And at the time, we're going to open the doors of the church. Amen.